Hi, welcome back to Budget Stuff, Save, Repeat. I'm Melissa. Um, thank you so much for being here. Um, today, I'm going to stuff my holiday binder. Um, it is fast approaching, so I definitely want to keep moving so that I have what I need for um, this upcoming holiday season. So let's jump right into this. Um, today, we're going to be stuffing 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 39, 40. So 400. Um, I know I explain it and I still get a comment every once in a blue moon, like, how are you counting? It's just that first number. So that's a 50, but I drop the zero and I make it a five. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30 at the zero back is 300. 2, 4, 6, 8. 20s are 2s. 1, 2. 10s are 1. So just the way my brain works. But this holiday binder is, is something that I, um, I discovered by joining this community. But before I found YouTube and found binders and cash stuffing the way we do in this community, I used to, I'm just going to show you, I used to just get a piece of paper and I would put the dates or the months on the side and then I would, and it would be in accordance to my um, paychecks or paydays and I would just pull money out throughout the year and it would be for Christmas and I just had a regular old um, envelope from the bank and I would just put it um, in the house just so when Christmas came I had the money and I didn't do savings challenges but I always pulled the money out and it is just so refreshing that you have your money set aside is not taking from a bill um, and it's there when you want it, when you need it. You know you you want to spend for Christmas. It's absolutely fun. So um, this has always been very helpful for me. And it, it just gives you peace of mind. And believe it or not, it seems like I spend less because I have the cash. Um, it just keeps me organized. So I am a true believer in... You don't have to stuff it by categories, literally. I would just pull the money and put it in the envelope and be done with it until I needed it. So just my little, um, if you're not doing this, it will make your life a lot easier. And I, I just recall so many people last year saying it was the first time they had done it and it was the first time they had money after Christmas. And I just think that's beautiful. Like if you haven't tried it, please try it. Okay, so teacher appreciation is one of the categories that I stuff for. I'm going to put 60 in here today. Two, four, five, six. Um, I buy for teachers and, um, but this, I was thinking about it because I think I am trying to put aside uh, $600 for teachers this year, but it is going to include some other areas um, as far as um, just the little gifts that we give out to like the postal workers, our garbage um, collector. Um, I'm trying to think who else I included. We get a newspaper, but not like um, old fashioned. Well, it's a newspaper, but it's not a newspaper for like the news. It has local um, news in there for the town that we live in. Um, I don't even know why we get it, how we get it, but he left us like a, hey, I'm your deliverer and his contact information. So I take it he wanted a little gift too. So it's all good. I find out about things that's going on in my town that I wouldn't have otherwise known. But I already colored in the tops for um, this tracker and this is for teacher appreciation. All right, it looks like everything is colored. No bows are left. All right, so for teacher appreciation, so far we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 24, 26, 27, 28, 29, 31, 32. So 320 dollars is in our teacher appreciation. And this will come in handy for whenever that Target gift card um, deal goes on where you get 10% off the gift cards. I'll just go in here and buy the gift cards um, with this money. So the next one is my portion of the Christmas money. Me and my husband, um, we split 
shopping for each side of our families. Uh, we both get $13.50 a piece. So I'm going to finish coloring in this tracker and start another one. Alrighty, so um, we have completed two trackers already. So that was our third tracker and we're starting on our fourth. And I got these nice trackers from, uh, from Rose. She is a supporter and she just surprised me with them. So I'll just go ahead and put those in order. So let's see what we have for my portion of the Christmas money. All right, 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 82, 84, 86, 88, 88, 91. So $910. So I'm almost finished um, with my side of the um, Christmas money for my shopping. And the good thing is too, I just went out uh, with my kids and they were wanting stuff of course and I'm like start making a list um, it's, it's so close to Christmas now like I'm not buying any more toys because Christmas is coming up but I something that my son wanted I will go back out and get it soon because I think this will be one of those items that he actually wants once Christmas gets here too so I'm gonna put the last hundred in for our Christmas dinner um, we host Christmas, so we have a large budget for all the meals, all the snacks, everything that we need to host um, my family for a few a few days. So let's count up what we have for Christmas dinner, and the budget here is eight fifty. So ten, twenty, thirty, five, forty, forty five, fifty. 52, 54, 56, 58, 62, 64, 66, 67, 68, 69. So six hundred and ninety dollars. So we'll be done this tracker soon. So I think, let me see if I go back to my front. Yeah, by November, I would say by October, these um, trackers and envelopes should be full. And then the rest of the money that I pull is usually just my husband's um, portion of um our holiday spending which i usually just transfer to his account because he doesn't cash stuff like this but that's what i have for today thank you so much for being here and i will see you guys soon bye